Paul van Dijk and you're watching Global Gathering Podcast. not just one thing it's a lot of things you know it starts with nice security and nice setup the whole surrounding has to be nice you know when you go to the bar there has to be someone who actually smiles at you and isn't isn't grumpy and of course uh, you know high class DJs and quality music I probably would put it somewhere where it's definitely not gonna rain <laughs> Um, I think trust is a very important thing, you know, in the relationship between promoters and the DJ because, you know, as a DJ I have to trust the promoter that he's putting on a great event, that he's promoting it right and uh, that, you know, as I said before, that all the ingredients of a good night are coming together. Um, on the other hand, the promoter, um, you know, has to trust me as a DJ uh, that I'm not falling apart and uh, not that I'm there, that I give 100% and uh, that I deliver a good show. Uh, one of those amazing moments, obviously, is always when you play an own tune and people go completely wild. That's the best an artist can experience. And um, the worst is, uh, yeah, basically when the whole festival actually sinks into mud. Uh, you know, it, it's still, it's very enthusiastic and, you know, I, I'm, I'm amazed, you know, that the people still actually, you know, march around in the mud. But, uh, you know, from the production point of view, from the DJ point of view, it is a little bit messy. <laughs> Yeah, of course. The great thing about these festivals is that, you know, a, a lot of us DJs, we're really good friends, but, you know, most of the time we travel all around the world, so we don't see each other so often. So festivals is a good point, you know, where everybody comes together, where we hang out, where we listen to each other, where we exchange music and, you know, even technical geeky thoughts and stuff. So it's, um, it's, it's always fun. There are always differences. I mean, for me as a DJ, I don't even try to compare them with each other because I have a 100% clear idea about the sound I like to bring across and the music I like to play and everything else is down to the interaction with the crowd. And of course, the atmosphere is, you know, different and on that festival from that festival or from that club to that club. So I don't even try. Um, or I can say that Global Gathering is definitely a major part of the whole festival season throughout the summer and uh, you know it's a, it's a must be. Now actually the lineups are very different uh, from each other. You know if you compare the German festivals from the English ones or the American ones um, maybe the top three, four, five DJs, they, they're the same or, you know, the, the bands are sort of the same. But, you know, the general impact and the general vibe of the festivals, they are very different. Well, our vended label is still going very strong and, uh, you know, I'm very happy about it. We work with amazing talents like Philo and Perry from New York or Giuseppe Ottaviani from Rome. And uh, they come up with so many fantastic records. It's uh, it's great to be part of that. Uh, of course, we have this other project, it's called Bonic, which is on a, our online radio station uh, connected to a download store. So basically, you can listen to the latest and best in electronic music 24 hours a day. We have radio shows from, from Armin, from Carl Cox, from, uh, myself, Marcus Scholz, uh, Steve Porter, many, many more. 
And um, whatever you listen to, you know, when you like it, you can actually click on it and you can legally download it, uh, which obviously is a, a major step in terms of putting great content into the internet that's related uh, to electronic music. So that's a project we're working on. And then, of course, uh, on um, you know, on my personal things, you know, my album um, is going to come out in August. It's going to be called In Between. It's uh, pretty much finished, and uh, I'm very happy about it. Actually, it's the first the first time that I'm really 100% satisfied with everything, and um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to it to come out. No, it hasn't anything to do with being unfinished. It has to do with the fact that electronic music is always pigeonholed into different things. And, uh, you know, from the very first days on when I started, I always said, you know, this is not trance, this is not techno, this is electronic music. And I combine my favorite elements of all those subgenres and create something what people call the Paul Van Dyke style. And this is what you're going to find on the album. It's ranging from something, you know, some lush breakbeats all the way to really banging stuff. And you find even some vocal bits in the middle. And, uh, you know, th this is why it's called in between. You cannot put it into a certain category. It is electronic music, that's it. Well, the good thing as a DJ is, of course, I'm already trying those tracks and, uh, you know, they all tried and tested when they come out. And so very obviously I'm going to play a lot of the stuff there too. Now, I love ice cream. I'm not a big fan of the color orange. I have two dogs, I'm a big fan of dogs, but that's not a secret either, you know, I have the most amazing dogs in the world. I don't eat orange ice cream. <laughs> you know, it's definitely, you know, not a complete lineup that I could come up with, but, you know, I would definitely have Sasha, I would have Santiago Nino, Francis Davila, I would have Eddie Hallowell, I would have Adam Sharon. I would have John Eskew, John O'Gallaghan, uh, John O'Bear, uh, Cal Cox, uh, Oki would be there, of course, Pete Tong would be there, of course, Jules would be there, of course. You know, all, you know, it's, I mean, you know, so many more, really. It's just like an, an, an endless list because, uh, you know, the great thing about all of us is we have the possibility of playing our favorite music in front of people. And we do that with all our heart. And this is coming across. If it is, you know, something, you know, housey, something that has a little bit of a handbag, cheesy touch to it, it's still, it's, you know, it's it's with all the heart. Or if it's something very banging, or is it something, you know, trancy and, and stuff like this. It's like, you know, this is what comes across. It's the power of that music. And so I would just pretty much invite everyone who is uh, a talented, you know, DJ in a way. Yes, I have an iPod. What was the latest thing I downloaded? I think it was, there is, um, it's it's very strange. It's basically Placebo released an album of cover versions of some of their favorite tracks. I downloaded that because I'm a big fan of Placebo. <laughs> <laughs>